Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube and in today's Fashion on Friday video we're going to be talking about fall eyewear and sunglasses especially because I recently got a bunch to try on through a virtual styling session with none other than optician and eyewear stylist Utenzi Miller. I'll tell you a little bit more about her in this video and we're going to quickly talk about how to find the best frames for your face shape. So keep watching. I know that one of the best places to go, darling, when you're looking for some statement eyewear is Utenzi Miller. Now I've done a video on her before in the past where I did my first virtual styling and I wound up with these amazing glasses. Now, initially, when I did that, I just wanted glasses for the look and you know, she put some blue light sensitizing lenses in the glasses for me. And then of course, like all things that are quite poetic in life, right? Uh, some months passed and it was like, oh shoot, a G really actually needs a prescription pair of glasses. So now I have a whole prescription in these and these are also smudged, but you know, just cause you know, I wear these all the time and people was like, oh my God, where did you get those glasses from? And it's like, darling, I got them from Utenzi Miller. Do you know about her? You need to know about her. But um, it's funny though, because you know, as we get older, sometimes our eyesight tends to kind of like dwindle down, our eyes get a little tired. Um, I was like, oh, I don't need glasses. But then I'm also like, I sure am squinting a lot. And then when I put the glasses on, I'm like, oh, the prescription's not that strong. My eyes aren't that bad. But then when, <laughs> when I look at things with the glasses on without them, I'm like, oh my God. I, I feel like I'm seeing a whole new world. Like, was my life this blurry before having needed glasses? But enough rambling. Let's quickly talk about how to find the right frames for your face shape. So I'm gonna go over some of the common face shapes, but three things that I want you to keep in mind because not everyone's face shape is going to fit completely into one area. Three things that you're gonna be looking for is if you're seeing roundness or curves, if you're seeing something square or angular, and then you're looking at proportion and scale. So those are three things that will get you closer to those bomb pair of frames that are just gonna look bomb on you. So when you have an oval shaped face, typically most shapes are going to work on you, but you definitely wanna make sure that things aren't too wide, and you wanna also make sure that things are to scale. So for instance, if you have a bigger body, a bigger frame may be more appropriate. If you have a smaller, more petite frame, you know, a smaller frame may be more appropriate for your look. And then things like your hairstyle choice will also, you know, come into factor, because if you've got some really big voluminous hair and you've got these little glasses, it might not be to scale. You know? So next up, the square shaped face. You're gonna look, be looking for glasses that have curves or sort of round to kind of help balance that out. And then the opposite is gonna be true if you have a round shaped face. So a round shaped face, you're gonna be looking for angles and maybe some square shaped frames. If you have a heart shaped face, meaning you know your forehead is much wider and your chin is very narrow, you're gonna be looking for sunglasses that kind of balance that out. So sunglasses that have a little bit more volume going down here. So typically your aviator shades, or you know how the aviators are kind of flat and then they're wider on the bottom. Those are gonna be great for a heart shaped face. Now the opposite of a heart shape would be someone who's triangular, where your forehead is quite narrow, but then your jaw is, and your, your jaw and your chin area is wider. You're gonna want the opposite. You're gonna want something that has a little bit more volume on top so that you're able to balance out your face shape. Then if you have a diamond shaped face, the diamond shape is similar to an oval, except it's kind of stretched out more in this area. So like this area here is wider than the forehead and the chin and jaw area. For a diamond shaped face, most frames are gonna look great on you, but if you wanna make sure that they're you're balanced, make sure that they're not wider than the widest part of your face. And if you're like, this is too much, like I, can someone else just do it for me? And that's where having a virtual styling session with Utenzi Miller comes in handy. I like doing it because she has a, an amazing eye for frames and you're always going to find things that are interesting, that are unique. If you follow her on Instagram, like I've been following her on Instagram for a while, 
she does these people polls. So her clients, some of her clients who do the virtual styling session will take pictures in the various frames that she picked out for them. And I have to tell you, like for each person, she's, these are people with very different fashion styles and, you know, different aesthetics and different face shapes and, you know, through different walks of life. She's like an eyeglass whisperer, right? And I know this whole video might seem like is an ad for Tenzi Miller, which is not I actually paid my own money for this. I just love her that much, right? And she's she's amazing. Now, the way that the virtual styling session works, you pay a $250 fee. 150 of that is your virtual styling fee and $100 goes towards whichever frame that you wind up picking. I'll leave a link to her website so you can get the full information and learn more about that. You answer some questions. You, then these questions are, you know, things like, like what frames, what colors, and what things are you drawn towards. You send them a couple of selfies. Uh, you can also go and look on Utenzi's Instagram. And if you see any pairs that, you know, are something that you might want to try, you, you know, you put that in the consultation as well. They send you a box quite like this one with some amazing sunglasses and frames that you can choose from. Now, a lot of these are sunglasses. Like for instance, these were sunglasses and you know, they popped out the lenses and I was able to have my prescription put in. And these are the frames that they picked out for me and they have an additional pair right here. So let's try them on. Okay, these are the first pair and I'm like, I kind of like these. I gotta hold my face in a way so that you guys aren't getting glare. I love the green. I saw these on Utenzi's Instagram and they have the chain that goes with it and I think I might have to do the most and get the chain if I wind up <laughs> picking these frames. But I like these. So my face shape is kind of like a rounded oval. So I have the oval qualities but my face is a little bit more rounded. Um, and I like that this has some angles to it so it kind of balances out some of the roundness in my face and i like the size of these because you know i'm a tall girl i'm five foot nine darling and um i do love i love what these frames are giving now see the only thing is i'm like hmm i wonder how these would look with straight hair but i got my hair slicked up and i'm not doing all of that with the the wig right now but this is definitely a contender. Listen, hey. It's weird because I gotta get an angle so that you're not getting glare here. And then I don't have the arrow, so <laughs> I'm fogging up the lenses. I like these. But do I like these more than I like these? <laughs> but also, I don't want to get anything that's too close to what these look like. So I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, it's such a hard decision to make. I don't know. Now, sometimes it's like, you know, because I got to picture other hairstyles, other earrings. I love the look of these, right? And then also giving you looks where there's no glare. I, I don't know, I, I feel like I want all three, <laughs> but then I still have six more pairs to try on. <gasps> Utenzi, you are making this really hard. I love the shape of, I look like my mom. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Gray. <laughs> I love these. I don't love, you know, when sunglasses or, you know, eyewear has like that big logo there. I don't, don't always love that, but I'd be willing to bypass, you know, overlook that because I like the overall shape. Although I kind of feel like I wish they came out a little bit more, you know? These are, these are a vibe. All right, so these I like, but I don't like them for me. So at least I can finally say like, okay, this is one I could say it's something I'm definitely not gonna get, but I do like them. I like the color and I like how compact they feel because sometimes some of the bigger frames kind of feel like 
they can fall off your nose or they feel a little heavy. These can actually push back a little bit more, which I won't do because I have lashes on and you know I got other stuff I need to film. <laughs> but I like these, I just don't love them for me. But they're cute. Wow. These are really cool, but I feel like they're too much of a statement because I want to be able to wear something that will go with my dress down clothes and my dress up clothes and like if I'm, you know, just chilling. I feel like these are amazing, but I feel like they're too much of a statement for me, which is weird because I like to make a statement with my accessories. But let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> these are cute I think they're a little too retro for me because I'm feeling very like hidden figures in this but these are super cute I'm trying to get it so that you can see it without the glare but then you're still seeing it on my face these are kind of giving me the same kind of vibe as these in terms of shape this one has, is doing you know some cooler things and I like the heaviness of the frame. <laughs> it's hard to tell if I'm giving you glare because of the way that the um, shades are mirrored. So I'm like trying to look in the camera to make sure, am I in focus one? Okay, hopefully I'm in focus now. But I like these. I don't know that these could be, I like the gradient tint. Ooh. Cause I wasn't sure if I wanted sunglasses or if I wanted eyeglasses. So she gave me a few sunglass options, which, well, any of these, all of these are primarily uh, sunglasses that you can, you know, kind of pop the lens out and put your prescription in or put, you know, if you're, if you don't wear glasses, you can also kind of get like the uh, blue light guard um, put in them. I like these. Oh. <laughs> I like these as like an everyday pair of sunglasses. They remind me of the um, Tom Ford Christophe um, sunglasses that I wear very often, the burgundy ones, which I like because it's like, it's a classic look. You can wear it every day, but it's in a really fun color. <laughs> I can't decide. Hello, it's Editing Danielle, coming to you from the future, yet the past. And if you're watching this video from when I published it in August 2020 through October 2020, I wanted to let you know that there is a pause on the virtual styling sessions as Utenzi and her team are gearing up for a fabulous new e-commerce website, as well as they're sourcing some amazing new styles. So there is a pause between August 2020 and October 2020. However, if you saw a pair of frames that you liked in this video, you can DM Utenzi Miller or email them for info and how to buy. I will put all that information in the description box. So go check it out. Also, they have a location in Jersey. I'll leave that information where you can actually go in person and check out some amazing frames. Check it out in the description box. All right, so here's the thing. I don't know <laughs> which ones to pick. I like these, I like these, but I also like these, and I also like these, like, I don't know. So <laughs> I'm ending this video without knowing which ones that I'm gonna pick, and I'm not even quite sure that by the time this video gets edited and gets put up so you guys actually see it, I, I don't know that I'm gonna know then <laughs> which shades, which, which frames that I'm gonna pick. But um, follow me on Instagram. Hopefully I'll have an answer there. Maybe I'll put something in the description box. I, I, I can't call it at this moment right now, you guys. It's, it's just too hard. It's too hard of a decision to make. And then I also gotta keep in mind that like, I change my hair up pretty often. Like I've been doing this puff thing, you know, every now and again and I love it, but it's not like my go-to hairstyle. So I gotta think of like, cause I've got two new, well, they're not new. 
but I haven't worn them in a while. Two wigs that one I had colored and you know, um, Gabby zhuzhed it for me. Another one I had cut to frame my face. And these are straighter wigs. So you know, you gotta keep your hairstyle into consideration as well. So I just don't know y'all. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments, which ones were your faves. Hopefully by then I would have something figured out. But if you wanna do something similar, with a virtual styling with Utenzi Miller. I'll have her information in the description box so you guys can check her out. It is a black woman owned business and I am going to be a long time customer because Utenzi knows her frames, honey. But follow me on social. I'll leave the links in the description box and <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully by then I'd have figured out, you know, which ones I'm gonna get because I just don't know. I, I don't know. It's like all up in the air. I don't know. Bye, guys.